Hey, welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today's video is inspired by a subscriber. Her name is Marlene, and she asked a question. Is it possible to make uneven plain borders inside of On One Photo Raw? And the answer to that is absolutely. So today we're going to look at the borders filter and some of the unique things that you can do with it through uh, masking um, and then, you know, just take it from there. All right, so let's dive into On One Photo Raw. Here we are inside of On One Photo Raw, and I want to get straight to the first thing that Marlene asked, which is how do you make uneven plain borders? So very simple. All you're going to do is add one borders layer, and we're actually going to add two. So we're going to add a second one right here. So now I have two borders, right? And I'm going to label these just for simplicity. You don't have to. I'm going to label this one left and I should probably call it a border. And then I'm going to label this one right border. Okay. So now I know which border I'm working with. I'm going to turn off the right border and start on the left side over here. So all I'm going to do is click on the layer mask and you have two different options, all right? If you wanna get like crazy art, or really you have three if you're using Photo Raw 2022, uh, but I'm gonna try and keep it specific to those who may not be on the new version of Photo Raw, uh, or applicable to those who are possibly not on the new version. So the first way is you could just take the brush tool and you could go Shift X to uh, turn it paint out, and you can paint away the border, right? and I have my opacity way too low, so we're gonna go to 100%, and I can just paint away the border, just like any other mask, right? Uh, you know, don't forget that we have the mask capability. And this is one way of just making an uneven border uh, where you can come in and paint away. Uh, you can even do this. You can change the brush and maybe I want to paint with one of these texture brushes right here, right? And if you have a brush kit, then the sky is the limit. Um, and we'll just go ahead and reset this mask. And what I'm going to do is just kind of paint. And you can create a very interesting look. Now, obviously, this is probably not the best. Uh, when it comes to messing with the tech, the, the cool brushes that you may have access to, it's probably a good idea to come into the settings and make some adjustments like manual spacing and maybe space them out a little bit more so you don't get like that jittery look. So now it kind of paints over. So if we reset this and I click and I drag, it's kind of a uniformed approach, right? And I don't know what this texture really is, but there is a unique looking border, essentially. Now, to the point of what Marlene was asking, we're just gonna go ahead and reset this. We're gonna click on our masking bug, and this is how you really make uneven borders. Now, you can go with, and I just thought about this. I was gonna do this on two separate uh, options, but what you can actually do is use the reflection and you just click on reflected gradient here and you click in the middle. So now I have access to manipulate this however I see fit, right? So if I pull this in and maybe drag this over to there and pull this one over and fade that a little bit more. So they're, you know, not the most artistic approach, right? Uh, there's that option. Now I'm gonna show the method that I was going to use. So we'll go ahead and reset that once again. And this time we're gonna use linear right because I wanna work on the left side of the image. And this is where you can just fade this in and out however you see fit. So maybe I wanna fade this like so, and that can be, you know, its own type of artistic look. 
Uh, and now I can come over here to my right border, go ahead and turn that on, and then right click, or I'm sorry, hit the letter M, and this time I'm going to go linear left, I'm gonna click over here, and now I can fade this away or in as far as I want. Um, and that can be uh, one of the aspects that you wanna go for. Now, to the fact of, or to the point of uneven borders, the reason why I separate my borders on the two separate filters is for this reason. If I want to change this from simple and make it something such as, uh, we'll just click on emulsion because i think that'll be kind of cool now i have two types of borders and i still have complete control over how this border blends in with the last one so if i want only the emulsion in the bottom right corner all i have to do is flip my um my gradient tool and i'll pull it over so that way i have more control of it and just put that right over there Right. So now I have this emulsion effect uh, border on one corner and, you know, you can put as many borders as you want. I'm not going to get too crazy with it. So one of the main reasons why I particularly like to use two separate filters for the border when I'm doing this is so I have all of the access to the controls inside of that filter. So I can come down here to transform and I can pull the scale down uh, and then I can leave the scale the same on the other one. So if I were to go back to simple on this one and then make this again the white square. Now I have a smaller white square. I can do the same thing. Uh, the, the reason why I do this is just for simplicity's sake. I have complete control over whatever I want to do with the borders. Now, what's also cool is you can blend these borders differently into the image. And you also have the opacity of the actual blend option. So if I want to go with maybe, uh, if I want to make some contrast, right, and go to soft light that makes contrast on the edges of this particular image. And then if I scale this back up, it may not be coming through as well on the video, but uh, you have some options. Now, this is a black and white photo, so, and I'm also on soft light. If I were to go overlay, it would be a little bit more harsh, but not much. And then you can go hard light, and what this is doing is just giving a different look. Uh, Ultimately, you can do all kinds of stuff with this, right? You can leave it on normal and then you you still have access to your blend modes up here. There's so many things that you can do when it comes to using the uh, filters and the layer mask. So hopefully that answers the question for Marlene. Let's say you come up with a style and you really, really like that particular style. Well, you can get rid of all of your other presets here, or I'm sorry, you can get rid of all your other filters here, and then you can leave just the border and you can create a preset of borders. And that's all that it will be inside of here. So uh, let me show you what that would look like. So if I were to go and make a duplicate copy of this, you can turn off the bottom layer. I'm going to delete here. I'm going to delete the black and white. And this brings us back to our color image. Uh, you don't have to worry about changing anything else inside of here because what we're going to do is we're going to make this uh, two tone looking or like this corner looking thing, right? So I'm going to come back over here on my left border, hit the letter M, rotate this around and just make this make sense. Just bear with me for a second. All right. So we'll pull that back. And that is now, you know, our, our style, right? Maybe that's how we want it to be. You can play around with it uh, at your own leisure. Now, all I have to do is click this little drop down. I'm going to turn off the effects and I, or I'm sorry, the develop settings. And then I'm just going to click on effects and I'm going to click on apply mask. 
if you do not select apply mask, this will not work for you. All right, you have to keep the mask where it is. And this is for a landscape. So what I'm gonna do is put this into my, I have a testing folder, and this is just where I test all of my presets that uh, I get ready to release. So I'm just gonna call this FWP uh, landscape uh, border. All right, so I can hit save. And now I have that preset ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit cancel on this because I don't wanna save this as an on photo. And then we're just gonna grab another image and we're gonna throw that onto it. So I'm going to grab this landscape right here, which, or this photo right here, we'll hit edit. And then we're gonna to go to our testing ground and we should see that border option pop up. Should be one of these. Ah, free will photos landscape border. So now when I click that, it is going to add that border onto the image. So now you have a preset of the borders. So you don't have to go through the process of making that every single time. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did smash the like button and I want to say happy new years. If we're just meeting, my name's Chris. I'm the content creator here at Free Will Photos. I help new photographers and intermediate photographers learn how to use all one photo raw in creative ways so you can get your vision out and into the world through video tutorials just like this. If that is something you are interested in, please smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified when I produce new content, which is fairly regular. Until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.